My whole life have been unconventional. Some would say I'm unique or even a freak, but my definition, I'm just a creative. When something doesn't work, like a oven, I improvise. <clears throat> Iron pizza is pretty good. I improvise on everything thinking outside the box. If it doesn't go according to the script, like um, when my voice broke during my high school Shakespeare performance, I improvise. That is the question. Whether... With... <clears throat> I, can, I can do this. I can do this. <clears throat> Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. That's my boy, Sam. And one of the only people who ever believed in me, no matter what, is my dad. He's all I have since um, mom died. She believed in me too. I hope we can um, go on holiday together at the end of the year. Yeah, it's just us now. <laughs> but we're a team. Go look after me, old man. Something good in here. Mm. Looks good. Morning, Mia. Hey. Don't forget we got a meeting in five minutes. Yeah, I know. See you. Well, my dreams? Well, to be a working actor, like on um, The Secret World of Benjamin Hughes. It's about this guy who uh, leads a sort of double life trying to start his own production company. Ben's life's a lot like mine. <sighs> My main goal is to be a working actor. And it's a long shot, I know. But I'm willing to take a chance doing what I love. And I hope to find love too. It's all on this list I've made. Just like the casting list I have. Kimmy K Casting. Hi, may I uh, please speak to Kimmy? <clears throat> Speaking. Um, the, the Secret World of Benjamin Hughes is one of my favourite shows. Get to the point, kid. I'm in the middle of something very important. Well, I, I was just wondering if I could arrange to have an audition for, with you. Are you a school leaver? No. A new drama grad? Yeah, how did you know? It's that desperation in your voice. And it's February. I still get a lot of calls like this this time of year. Oh, I see. Look, my advice to you, kid, is to get an agent and we'll take it from there. Well, that's just it. I don't have... Hello? Now, where were we? Hmm. Um... In lane casting, the unbeaten. Hello, Needle Lane Casting. Hi, um, I'm calling about a casting. Are you an agent? Agent? Um, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a new talent agency called uh, uh, David. D yes, David. D David Tunks of Tunks Style Management. I have this really great new drama grad, um, Sam Davies. Okay. So, can you send me through your client's details and we'll take it from there. Ripper. Excuse me? Oh, uh, Ripper, get down from there! Woo! 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 <laughs> Sorry, we have um, an office dog in training at the moment. Yeah, I'll send those details through to Sam. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye. Thinking cap on and ready. Thanks. You're new. Alex, hi. I'm Kim. Ooh, this guy seems okay. It's not swiping right. Oh, Alex. Hi, Alex. I'm Lana. Thank you. Be careful. Don't crush my hat. Now be a darling. Hang that from me. Good day, everyone. Glad you have your thinking caps on for this morning's creative meeting. 
And we have a new client on board, top chef Adrian Cho. And he wants us to launch his new product called Super Cho Chocettes. Any ideas? I've got an idea. Dave. We can have a cartoon version of Top Chef Adrian Cho riding a cow. And instead of milk coming out, we can have the Super Cho Chiquettes come bobbing out. <laughs> we might need to loosen your cap there, Dave. But we'll come back to you. Anybody else? I've got an idea. Mia. How about we had a kid dressed in a superhero outfit and he was giving out Super Cho Chiquettes? Hmm. Good. Good. I like where you're heading with that. Can we expand on the superhero idea? The, oh, you're right there, Alex. Th thank you for this morning's tea and biscuits. Alex is new to price advertising. <laughs> My bad. Uh, Alex, welcome. Let me introduce you to the team. We have Dave, Mia, Kim, and Lana. Thank you, Alex. That'll be all. Thank you. Right, back to the campaign. Can we go with Mia's brilliant superhero idea and expand on that? So we could either have a superhero kid or... or a, a superhero man. We could have a superhero man handing out super cho cho cats to kids at schools or kids out in the streets. Yes, yes, love all these ideas. Let's go away and bring them back tomorrow and present them to Adrian Cho himself in the morning. Brad, um, can Lana and I work together? Yeah, sure. That'll be it. Thanks, everyone. Hey, what's up with you? Mia, that's what's up with me. She stole my idea again. How? Oh, that's probably why she loves sitting next to you. You know, she's only been here for a month and she has basically stolen every single idea of mine. It, it, it's my ideas that have gotten us over the line and not hers. And I just think it would be nice if Brad just acknowledged my hard work for once. I don't even know how she got this job in the first place. Well, I heard she was working in marketing for some supermarket chain in LA and got a transfer here. Why did she come here? You know, like, LA has heaps more opportunities. I don't know. Sometimes it's who you know, not what you know. But hey, next time, sit next to me. Yeah. Okay. What are you smiling about? It's a match. Oh, show me. <laughs> Oh, actor Sam, hey? Tell me more. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I'll shout you your favorite at the cafe. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, okay fine, okay, let's I... go. My sandwich, I'm gonna eat my sandwich, my sandwich, my sandwich, I'm gonna eat my sandwich. Yeah, I kept... Hi, ladies. How's your day? Well, it could be better. Well, here, have a Valentine's Day to give to that someone special. Oh, oh. thank you. Federer is going to like this. Mm. Roger Federer, the tennis player. No. <laughs> Roger Federer, her cat. She named him after Roger Federer, the tennis player. He is the special someone in my life. Oh, Kim, there must be someone else. I'm trying, but honestly, I'm considering doing it alone. Doing what alone? Having a child alone. Oh. My doctor said I have to get started ASAP. I have hardly have any eggs left. You know what that means. Tick, tick, tick. So anyway, I'm thinking about getting my eggs frozen. Hmm. You know what? I think that's great. You're taking control of your own fertility. Are you both having the usual? Yes. yes. No worries. Two lattes coming up. Thank you. So, aren't you going to give this to anyone? Who, the postman? He's the only one that visits me every day. Plus the guy I like doesn't even know I exist. Who? The postman? No. You know what they say about office romances. Office romances? What? Wait, what? Well, it can't be Dave because he's gay or... No, Kim! No, it can't be Brad! He hasn't seen anyone since he got divorced. He is practically married to his job. He's a workaholic. I know, but he's such a good, reliable man. He's so handsome Aww. and capable. Oh, Kim. Yeah, he is, isn't he? 
He has his act together. You know what? No more cheaters, no more liars, and no more gunner men. Gunner men? Mm. Yeah. You know, like men that say, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do that. And then all they do is sit on their ass and do nothing. <laughs> anyway, you should give this card to Brad. But just be cryptic about it. You know, leave a hint at the end of the card or something. Yeah. I am in advertising. Yeah. yeah. Think about it. Well, okay, fine. Don't think about it too long, though. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. And opportunities like this one don't come around very often. We're talking about opportunities. <laughs> Tell me more about Actor Sam. Oh. Mm. Can you believe it? It's been one year and four months. And the only decent guy I've matched with is Actor Sam. I know. Another actor. Oh my god, this is the fourth actor you've matched with. Mm. Lana, you're like their sugar mummy. You pay for everything, including their acting classes. I know. <sighs> thinking about your mum? Yeah. I was just thinking, how hard can it be to find what my mum and dad had, you know? Anyway. Can you believe it? <laughs> It's actor Sam again, and so first I suggested that we go to the restaurant, to a restaurant, and then he said, I prefer smaller places. So then I suggested we go to a small cafe where we can have a latte or a muffin, and then, and then guess what he said? He said, I prefer the outdoors where I can sit on the grass. Lana, you know what this means? Hmm? Hello, Mr. Oh, tight ass. Hmm. Are you ladies talking about my tight ass again? Yes, we are. <laughs> no, Lana's using the Love Kicker dating app and the guy she's matched with won't even take her to a real cafe for a muffin and coffee. Mm. You know what he said? He said, I prefer the outdoors and sitting on the grass. Why? <laughs> Is he a cow or something? Get rid of him. He reminds me of my first husband. Really? And look where I am now. Still married to him. Hmm. <laughs> Kim, you know what? I know that look on your face. I have decided I am going to go out on a date with Mr. Tidal's actor Sam. Remember he's an actor. That means professional waiter. Yeah, but I don't care what he does. As long as he has a job, treats me with respect and has a kind soul. No harm in a test drive. Kim, he's not a car. But you know, I, I should see if we're compatible. Maybe he's the perfect fit. Anyway, if I can go out on a date, you can give a card to Brad. I don't care. I don't take rejection kindly. Sorry, <laughs> Lana. Don't be chicken about it. I dare you. Give the card to Brad. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, okay. I will yeah. think about it. I'll think about okay. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> leave my leave my arm alone. <laughs> hey, Lana. Yeah, yeah. Hi. You must be Sam. Yeah, I am. Take a seat. <laughs> it's not really a seat, is it? Oh well, take a spot in the grass then. I will. <laughs> I hope I'm not boring you already. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm just sending an order off. I'll turn my phone off now. Okay. What made you decide to choose this place? Well, I, it's like my secret spot, you know? I love the outdoors, so I thought it might be a nice idea to come. Yeah. yeah. Let's not forget, it's free. Excuse me? Yeah. It's free. Yeah, the outdoors are generally free and it's summer, so why not enjoy it? <laughs> anyway, I think it's nice. Sun's out. Yeah? Yeah. Delivery for Sam? Oh, thank you. Give the change. Thanks. Got your latte. Oh. Thank you. And there's a nice surprise in here. Oh, there's a muffin. 
Thank you. How do you know I like lattes and muffins? I remember you said you liked them on wine. Ah, oh, you remembered. I remember everything. So where were we? Oh yeah, you were implying that I was cheap? What? No, I never actually said that. Mm. So what's your favorite food? Wait, let me guess. Chinese food. What? <laughs> where do you think I'm from? China or something? No, but I am. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm from China. What? No. Just, be just because I don't look Chinese doesn't mean I'm not from the place. Well, just because I do look Chinese doesn't mean I only like eating Chinese food. Well, most of the Chinese girls I've dated have liked Chinese food. And how many Chinese girls have you dated? A few. What? A few? <laughs> do you have yellow fever? Why are you being so defensive? I'm not. Look, my Dad was a diplomat working in China, so I grew up there. Kind of got used to the cuisine. Plus, I work in hospitality, so I eat it every day, pretty much. OK. Eat it every day. <laughs> so have all your girlfriends been Chinese? Oh, no, no, no. Um, when Dad got sick, we came back in. I dated a Aussie girl then. Oh. Is he OK now? Yeah, it is what it is. OK. So. Wait, so do you meet all your dates through a dating app? Yeah, I mean, yeah? I don't really have time to meet anybody now. Yeah. It's hard to meet people organically these days, right? Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> and it's like, when I meet people online, I have one idea of them. Then when I finally meet them in person, they're just usually someone completely different. Yeah, totally agree. It's like you only see the most polished version of them online and everything's curated in a way to make you like them. But most of the time, I just find myself really disappointed when I see them in person. Except for today, I reckon. I think I exceeded your expectation. Really? Mm-hmm. You think so? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you still haven't answered my question, though. Do you or don't you like Chinese food? Mmm. It's okay. Would you be interested in having a Chinese food showdown? Is that a challenge? Maybe. I know the perfect place. Mm. OK, you know what? You're on. Cool. Um, well, I'm rusted off tomorrow if you're free uh, then. Tomorrow. I'll have to get back to you. Sure. Oh, and oh, sorry, sorry, I have to go. Is everything OK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have a, a, an advertising campaign that I'm working on. Oh, no worries. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it took me ages to get here. Yeah, so no worries. How did you get here? <laughs> By bus. How about you? Mine's over there. Wow. Is that yours? Yeah, I mean, my bike's a few years old now, but I like it. <laughs> so, um, I'll send you a message about tomorrow? Yeah, that'll be nice. Cool. Thanks for today. No worries. Bye. Yep. Another date night with you, Federer. Oh, it's Lana, Federer. Excuse us. Hi, Kim. How was it? Better than I expected. Oh. It has potential and we have a lot in common. You know, you're not the only one who's on a date tonight. Really? You're out on a date tonight? Well, with who? With, with Brad? He's sweet, independent, has a great self-esteem. Um, loves fish. A little bit hairy, but I don't mind. Wait. Are you talking about Roger Federer, your cat? <laughs> we bonded over some grilled salmon tonight. Tim, Federer already has Mrs. Crackles from next door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's get started on this campaign. I'm so excited. <gasps> <sighs> yep. 
Yeah, feels like another night in the office. Nothing going according to plan, right? It's the script of my life. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. Be a darling, hang this for me. The drink companies as well, so. Why are they wearing strange hats? It's their creative thinking caps. It helps with the creativity flow. I see. <laughs> Good day, everyone. Let me introduce you to Adrian Cho. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. Adrian, let me introduce you to the team. On my right, we have Kim and Lana, and on my left, we have Dave and Mia. Right, team, let's uh, share our Super Cho Chocolate ideas with Adrian. How about we start with you first, Dave? Well, I thought we could use the Super Cho Chocolate's cow with a superhero cape around its neck to make the cartoon cow look like a superhero. Cho Chocolate. The food for you. Here is what you should do. The Super Chiquettes is the best. Puts your taste buds to the test. Try it, eat it, taste it. Gives you that ooh, superhero feeling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tova. I think you've, you've, you've said enough. All right, thank you. We get the picture. Yeah, I think the wrap is good. Mia, what about you? What have you got for us? I was thinking, all right, we have a superhero kid in a superhero cape, and he flies down and gives super chochaquettes to the other school kids. And he says, try a super chochaquette and be super cool like me. <laughs> the superhero idea is good. Mm -hmm. I just think the tagline needs to be punchier. Kim and Lana, you two ladies worked on this campaign together. Mm -hmm. What have you two got for us? OK, well, we have set our commercial inside a video game and the Super Chocha Cat superhero comes flying out of the maze and out into the open and the kids at the end, they're cheering him on. Then at the end, he gives them each a Super Chocha Cat and says... For that super feeling, grab a Super Chocha Cat today. Love it. I'd like to incorporate Dave's rap song with your idea too. Can we cast both kids and adults for the superhero part? Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Now, if this campaign takes off, I'd like price advertising to do all our campaigns. Excellent news. Thanks, Adrian. I'll just get you to officially sign off on this afterwards. Great work, everyone. Great work. I mean it. Um, we'll get Jenny to start casting tomorrow, right? Thank you, everyone. Uh, I'd just like to mention that Super Cho Chocolates is also sponsoring this year's Advertising's Woman of the Year Awards. Please get your nominations in by this Friday of Women That You Respect. The awards ceremony is on Sunday. Great. I'd be an awesome winner. <laughs> Are we keeping you up there, Dave? Yes, I'm awake and watching. <laughs> watching his eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, team. Let's go celebrate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Well done, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. 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 Yay. Ah, <sighs> just what I needed. <sighs> you know what Me would be too. perfect? We had some strawberries. Yes. Oh, I have some in the fridge. <laughs> I'm sure I had some strawberries here the other day. Yeah, I, I remember seeing them. I put my lamb sandwich next to them. I remember that day vividly because when I went back, I discovered that someone had taken a giant bite out of it. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Don't tell me one of you did it. Nah, we wouldn't do that. No, we eat the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've actually started noticing that things, particularly food, have started to go missing around here. Oh. My sandwich was the one thing I was looking forward to the other day. Oh, if I was a boss. I even labelled my strawberries. W wait. You know, I, I do recall seeing Mia here the other morning. 
eating a punnet of strawberries from the fridge. Oh, that cheap ass in fake Prada. She can afford her own. Oh, let me check if I still have my ice chocolate in there. I can't believe it. Someone's stolen my ice chocolate too. Mia. Mia. Mm. You know, we should teach that woman a lesson. Mm. Maybe I should put another ice chocolate in there with a touch of... Laxatives. No, no, we can't do that. She's gonna be running into the female bathroom all day. Just for one day, just for one day. Be fine. I have one in there sometime this week. Oh, when she least expects it. <laughs> oh, sugar, is that time? Oh, don't say you have plans with that tight ass actor boy. Maybe. Okay, okay. Well, he wasn't stingy, actually. He remembered what I wrote on my dating profile and got me lattes and muffins from Fast Foodie Express. Really? Yeah. I thought he'd be like actor Rob and actor John oh. and actor Simon. You had to buy all their drinks on the first date. I know. Not all actors are like those three. Lana just got unlucky with them. What was your chemistry level like out of ten? An eight. He was really cute and we had similar views on dating. Anyway, he's actually taking me out on a proper dinner date tonight. Where? Oh. Mac is for a junior burger? No! No, a Chinese restaurant. Oh, so he's Chinese too? No. Y yeah, kinda? Please explain. <laughs> he was born in China, but his parents are Australian. So his dad was a diplomat and was posted there and he grew up there. Okay. Yeah. Wow, okay, well, if it all goes well tonight, ask if he has a brother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For me. Oh, and me too. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's late. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Hey, glad you made it. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Would you both like menus? Uh, actually, just one menu for tonight, thanks, Dan, for Lana. She'll be in charge of ordering tonight. Sure, Sam. I'll be back for your order. Thank you. Do you guys know each other? Oh, you could just say I'm a regular here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think I know what I'm going to order. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to ruin the surprise, so I'm just going to read out the dish numbers. Is that okay? Sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Number six for entree. Number 57. And... Oh, 99 with fried rice. Uh, will that be all? Yeah. Thank you. With extra chilli? I don't like chilli. Oh, I do. <laughs> sure. Uh, any wine for you both? No, no, just, just tea is fine, thank you. You know, I don't know if chilli will go with what I ordered, but it's your choice. I think this will be a meal you'll never forget. I'm sure it will be. <laughs> anyway, I was wondering, do you have any siblings? Well, I um, have a stepsister who I haven't seen for years, so I consider myself an only child, really. Me too. I'm an only child. No way. Yeah, yeah. It gets hard, doesn't it? My dad always makes me update his dating profile, and then he gets me to help him edit all his photos. <laughs> That's crazy. I have to help my old man too. He keeps leaving random things around the house. At one time, I found his glasses in the freezer. <laughs> 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 the life of an only child. Yeah, cheers to that. <laughs> um, sorry, I saw that before. Were you, were you married or...? This? No. This belonged to my mum. Oh, it's beautiful. It is. It's, um, it's one of the last things she left me. I'm sorry. You know, she, she wanted me to find someone that would make me feel the way Dad made her feel. And then she made me promise that if I ever found him, I would put this little baby inside an arancini ball and give it to him. If he didn't choke, passed her test. <laughs> you must miss your mum. <laughs> I do. Anyway, wh what's your story? Why aren't you 
you know, married with 12 kids. Um, well, let's just say my last girlfriend couldn't make a commitment. She had cold feet. One chicken feet entree. <sighs> chicken feet. Good old number six. Don't you, don't you like them? I like them. I love them. Oh, well, if you love them so much, you can have the whole thing. Fine, I will. Special fried rice. Thank you. That's the share, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Take what you want. So, what were you saying? Oh, I was saying my um, last girlfriend couldn't make a commitment. Mm. Did she, did she cheat on you? Well, she never admitted it, but I did find boxer shorts in the microwave that weren't mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually had a very similar experience. No way. I found someone's G-string inside my fruit bowl, <laughs> and they weren't mine. And then I promised myself, if it ever happened again, I penis. would cut. Fried shapes penis. Put these next to you, big boy. Thanks, Dan. Um, sorry, what were you saying? I would cut him off. Oh, you'd cut him off? Yeah. Um, ladies first. Uh, you, you know what, I, I'm still going with my special fried rice. Why don't you go ahead? So, uh, how long was your last relationship? Uh, a couple of years. Um, we broke up a little while back when Mum passed away. And I haven't really been dating anyone since I'm looking after my dad. I'm all he has left. Being the primary carer, that's... That's tough work. Yeah. I, I worry about what my old man will do when I'm not around. I mean, we're saving to go on holidays overseas together. Oh, that's nice. Hey, what? why don't you go on a road trip together? Road trip? That's what my dad used to do with us. He used to um, drive us to the Blue Mountains and, and interstate for long weekends. Yeah, the, the last time he did that was actually, actually for us to spread my mom's ashes. And my dad said, Lana, we're all assigned mountains at some stage. We just have to take the opportunity to stay strong, to continue living, and, um, and show others that even mountains can be moved. Sounds like your dad has a lot of insight. Yeah, he does. They're in a better place now. Just me and my dad now. Look, I, I thought we would have some things in common, but I never thought it would be like this. One crumbled chicken ball. Play safe. <sighs> chicken balls. The food of life, what can I say? <laughs> well, <laughs> now you can say you've tried two. Oh, come on, you haven't even tried any. At least try one testicle. You have to eat your sheep's penis. No, 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 come on. Look, I'll eat the lamb's penis if you eat the chicken testicle. No, we have to go at the same time. No, you go first. Fine, you know, you're the real chicken around here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Sorry, I am... Um... I have to go to the ladies' room. Excuse me. Sam, would you like to order anything else? <laughs> I don't think so, Dan. OK, sure. Is the bus working tonight? You're lucky. It's the ladies' night off. Oh, good. You want the bill? Yeah, I'd love the bill. No, 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 leave it there. Learn to enjoy every minute of your life. I'll try. How are you feeling? Much better. Shall we go? Um, what about the bill? 
Let's leave. What? It's fine. Let's leave. No, we, we can't just do a run-up. We're not doing a run-up. Yes, we are. No, I... no, no, no. We're not doing a run-up. We, we can't just do a runner. You, you're the one who asked me out on a date. I can't believe this. What do you mean, believe this? OK, you know what? I'll, I'll pay. But that's it. That's it? What? What does that mean? That's it. Look, I, I can't be another sugar mama. Sugar mama? But I, I thought we had a connection. We do. Well, I don't know. We, we did, OK? Look, Sam, I've dated other actors before in the past, and I thought you were different, but... Clearly, you're not. Every time I've dated an actor, I've been left feeling like I was nothing more than an ATM to them, and I can't be another ATM. Look, I'm sure I'll see you around, Lana. Around? Around what? Around another tree on the grass? Uh, your bill's been paid. What? Are, are you sure? <laughs> yes, Sam paid when you went to the bathroom. He paid. He works here casually. Pulls in great tips. He's rusted on for tomorrow night. Okay, Zach, would you just like to say your name, age and agent, and then turn to your right, left and front profiles for me. Ready? My name's Zach Edwards, I'm 24, and I'm with Diversity Zone Management. Okay, ready for a take? Yep. And action. Choja Cat, the food for you. Here is what you should do. The Super Chiquettes is the best. Puts your taste buds to the test. Try it, eat it, taste it. Gives you that ooh, superhero feeling. Oh yeah! For that super feeling, try a Super Chocho Cat today. Excellent. I also play Benjamin Hughes in The Secret World of Benjamin Hughes. Interesting. Thank you, Zach. Next. And don't forget your lines and don't rush. Yes, Hello. I know, Mum. Um, hi, I'm Jenny. Can you please wait outside? Uh, Jeremy likes to have me close by. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Sue. OK, Sue, if you'd just like to stand there quietly while I audition your son. You won't even know I'm here. I'll, uh, I'll be invisible. OK, Jeremy, would you just like to say your name, age and agent, and then turn to your right, left and front profiles. Ready? Yes, I'm Jeremy Lee. I'm eight and I'm with Kiddo Plus Management. Great. You ready for a take? Yes. Okay. And action. Chose to catch the food for you. Here. And cut. Sue, if you continue to distract your son, I'm going to have to ask you to wait outside. Sorry, I'll be invisible. You won't even know I'm here. I'll be Mrs. Invisible. Okay. okay. And again. Camera rolling. Action. And action. Chocha Cats, the food for you. Here is what you should do. The Super Chocats is the best. Puts my, I mean, Mum, can we do it again? Um, and cut. No, I think we have everything we need. Please, could we do it again? I mean, can Jeremy do it again? I'm sorry, Sue, we're on a very tight schedule. Thank you so much for coming in. Next! Amadeo? Yeah, thank you. Okay. okay, Amadeo, would you just like to say your name, age and agent, and then give me your profiles. Ready? I'm Amadeo Fernandez, I'm 21, and I'm with Act One Plus Management. Ready for a take? Yes. I'm ready. And 
action. Cho chiquettes, the food for you. Here is what you should do. The super chiquettes is the best. Puts your taste buds to the test. Try it, eat it, taste it. Gives you that ooh superhero feeling. For that superhero feeling, grab a cho chiquette today. Great job, Armadeo. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming in. Next! No, no, don't, don't, don't. It's for me. Hello, how may I help you? Is that Tungster Management? Uh, yeah, David Tunk speaking. Thank you for sending through your client Sam Davies' details. I've just sent you through a script for him that I'd love him to send through a self-test for. I'll do it. I mean I'll get my client Sam to do it. Yeah, he'll uh, send it in by the end of the day. All right. Thank you, Nina. Bye. Ooh. Who's David Tunks? Uh, my agent. I mean, me. But don't worry about it, Dad. Why? Look, Dad, everything's under control, yeah? You just enjoy your ginger nut, and please make sure you take your medication, yeah? I'll be back in a sec. Don't let Mia push you around, Alex. She's just a try-hard bossy boot. Well, I can think of a better word to describe her. But I'll hold back for now. Hey, don't let her scare you. You have friends. We've got your back. How did auditions go? Good. I'm just on my way now to give them to Brad. Oh, I'm on my way there. I'll drop that off. Great. There's just one stage, Mum. Yes, there's always one or 28. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Takes all kinds in this world. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you. You'll be fine. Roses are red, violets are blue. Someone in the office wants to have dinner with you. I didn't see you there. Oh well, I better go home. I'm famished. Oh my god, it's so cute. So, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Have you got your cards ready? Oh. Yes, I dropped mine off to my secret crush before I left work today. Hey, that's awesome. How about you, Lana? Well, I may or may not have scared my date off. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I ordered strange Chinese food dishes that he didn't really like. Like? Like chicken feet and sheep's penis <laughs> and... Um, chicken balls? What? It was a Chinese food showdown. Oh, and then 
And then I called him a cheap actor because I thought he was trying to make us do a runner so he wouldn't have to pay for dinner. I was mortified when I found out that he had already paid. Did you apologise? I wanted to. He had left. I feel awful, Kim. Do you know where he works? Or where he hangs out? He, he hangs out at this random, random secluded park and he actually works at that Chinese restaurant he took me to. OK, great. So let's go there. OK, what time is it? It's 5.30, so go there in an hour. And if he's not there, go to the park tomorrow. But was there a connection? Was there a spark? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was. <laughs> we had a lot in common. And he was really cute. And really, really sweet. OK, <laughs> good. Well, go do it. If I can drop a card off to Brad, you can go and apologise. Oh. OK, OK. Yeah, I have nothing to lose. No. Nothing to lose. Go get him. Now. I know, I'm late. OK, I've got you covered. We're only a few minutes late. <sighs> Thanks, Dan. Yeah. You got that table over there. Sure. I don't like to practice my acting skills. <laughs> Burn it up. <sighs> Can I help you, ma'am? I'd like to order the fried rice and the fried chicken balls. Are you sure you want to order the chicken balls? I had them last night and they were... They were unique. They were uniquely delicious. Yes, one fried rice and chicken balls coming right up. Zayn, can I please have a word with you, please? You are walking on a thin line here, Zayn. No more leaners. And stop using my customer as a test audience for your acting. Hey, hey, Dan, is Sam on tonight? Uh, yes, yeah. but uh, maybe now isn't a good time. OK, I'll, I'll, I'll just wait here. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Would you like a table, miss? Yeah, but I'm, I'm just... Yeah, a table right over here, miss. I'm, I'm Thank you, miss. Teetle. Please just sit down, miss. What are you doing? My boss is watching me like a hawk. Don't look. Look, one bad move, I'm out of here. OK. OK, look. But I just wanted to say I'm sorry, OK? I didn't know you had paid last night. And I totally get it if you don't want to see oh, me no, anymore. Oh, she's but... coming. Just, look, apologies accepted. Just order something, anything. Come on, you owe me one. OK. Are you ready for the order now, miss? Or are you just here to chit-chat? Uh... I will just get one special fried rice. Yeah? Anything else? No. One special fried rice coming up. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, are you free after work? Yeah. How about I take you for a ride? Yeah, that'd be nice. Cool. See ya. Here we are. What? This was my mum's bike. It has a seat on the back. It's really nice. Yeah, got your helmet too. Thanks. Look good. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay. You all good? Yeah. Okay, so I reckon you would be great in Alvin and the Chipmunks. <gasps> no! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, I had a great time today. Yeah, me too. Oh. I had a nice time. Mm. 
How about we do the same time, same place? Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be great. Um, yeah, uh, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. Bye. Bye. <sighs> These lines are so bad and cheesy. I forget about it. Let's just do it. If you were words on a page, you'd be the fine print. Yeah, I'm with you, buddy. All right, just change it up. Don't worry about it. Like you wrote them. If you were words on a page, you'd be the fine print. If you were words on a page, you'd be the fine print. If you were words on a page, you'd be the fine print. Wait, what's the time? Oh, shoot, I'm late for my shift. Sorry, I have to go. If you leave now, you are fired. Good day, team. Adrian Cho has chosen this man to be the face of Super Cho Chocettes. And the ad campaign has been filmed tomorrow. Now he looks like a superhero. <laughs> Jenny did a great job with the casting. Yes, she did. Adrian also asked me to remind you to get your nominations in for Advertising's Woman of the Year Award. And congratulations to Mia, as she's officially been nominated. Team, we'll see you tomorrow at the shoot. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Mia, can I have a quick word with you, please? Sure. Hi, Mia. Hi, Brad. I just wanted to say thank you for your Valentine's Day card that you got me the other day. You're welcome. I mean, it was a little unoriginal. Roses are red, violets are blue. Someone in the office wants to have dinner with you. Look, I am really, really flattered. It's just that I don't believe in having office relationships. OK. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're a great woman. You really, really are. It's just that I just need to keep this professional. <laughs> OK. Uh, and Mia, if we can keep this private, please. Thank you. Excuse me. Happy Valentine's Day! Thank you. To my cat, Roger Federer. To you, Dave. And to Brad, wherever he might be. Happy Valentine's Day to the best man and cat <laughs> in my life. <sighs> oh, at least I know Brad has good taste in women. Mm. But such a shame, though, huh? Another opportunity missed. Mm. I'm sorry, mm. Kim. Uh, it's okay, actually. You know what, Dave? I've decided I'm gonna do it alone. You know, I've always wanted a child and I'm gonna do it with or without a partner. So, um, I've started hormone treatment. 
I'm getting my eggs frozen as a backup and um, I'm gonna pick a sperm donor soon. <laughs> I'm gonna find a sperm that looks like Brad. <laughs> <sighs> you won't be alone, Kim. <laughs> oh, who's that? Oh, I'm just kidding. Lana? Hi. Oh, come in. Hey. What's up, what's up? Oh my god, aren't you supposed to be here with Actor Sam? He didn't show. Have you tried calling him? Hey, yeah, he didn't pick up. What you need is a glass of champers. Oh, I do need a glass of champers. <sighs> hey, you know what? Something must have come up. Yeah, he'll call you. Cheese. Cheers. Oh, you know what? I still can't believe Mia got voted Advertising Woman of the Year. Yeah, mm. good vote for her. Oh, let's let's get our phones out now and vote online. Yeah, I'll vote for you, Lana. And I'll vote for you, Kim. Okay, this is strange. It said I've already entered and you can only do it once, but I never voted. Maybe it's some technical issue. <laughs> I'm sure you can do a paper vote for Lana. How about you, Lana? What? Sam. What if he's ghosted me? It wouldn't be the first time, right? Mm. Look, it must be some kind of emergency. He'll reply, Lana, don't worry. You know, he could be out of range or something came up. Like, he'll contact you, Lana. I'm sure there's a good reason. Yeah. I guess we'll just wait and see, right? <laughs> you know... I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall when Brad gave me the flick. It's okay, Brad. Mm. Oh my god, that is so low. Writing <laughs> on someone else's Valentine's Day card. She needs to be taught a lesson. Weren't you going to spike her drink? I'll put the ice chocolate in the fridge tomorrow and spike it with laxatives. Sounds good. <gasps> Love, Love a sandwich! sandwich. <laughs> 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 oh, you need a topper. Yeah, we oh, got I do. <laughs> got a smile off you now. <laughs> you got us, you don't need Sam. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're okay. The drink is ready for Mia to take the bait. Hey, you must be Zach. I'm Mia. I'm one of the head creative writers on this campaign. Oh, hi, Mia. Can I get you something? Yeah, a, a cold drink would be really good, thanks. Sure, I'll see what I can wrestle up. For you. Cheers. Maybe nothing will happen for half an hour. The laxative said 15 minutes for a normal dose. But I tripled the dosage. Oh no. Quite on set. Okay, going for a take. Camera. Camera rolling and set. Action. Cho Choquette, the food for you. Here is what you should do. The Super Choquette is the best. Puts your taste buds to the test. Cut. Oh, we'll go again. Um, it's fine, it's fine. Just, it's perfectly natural. Just try again, we'll do another one. Camera? Camera rolling. Ready? Okay. okay, it's gonna be good. And action! Cho Choquette, the food for you. Here is what you should do. The soup ch Choquette is the... I, I'm sorry, I really need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> 
I'm gonna take five, everyone. Dave, can you go check up on Zach? Me? Yes, you. Is there another Dave? Okay. Here goes. <sighs> that Zach is not going to finish shooting. What are we going to do? We can't lose this campaign. I'll call Jenny and we'll find another actor. Oh, yeah, but Adrian chose Zach to be the face of his campaign. It's better than losing the whole campaign completely. You gotta trust me, come on. Okay, okay. Zach won't be able to do it. He's got the runs. How's it going? Can't believe this is happening. Can you find me another actor quickly? We'll take our lunch break. Hopefully when we finish, we'll have an actor that doesn't fart on set. Actor Sam. Who's actor Sam? The guy Lana's dating. Call him Lana. We're desperate. Tell him your life depends on it. I'll help him out with the rap song. Look, I don't even know if he'll come. He hasn't responded to my text messages. Just try. Come on. Okay. Any news yet? Nothing. Looks like Lover Boy's not coming. I say we all just pack up. <laughs> Why? Oh, are you the new director of this? Who are we kidding? The recovery's not coming. Wrap it up! Wait. Actor Sam's here. Sam. Hi, Sam. I thought you'd never come. Sorry, my, my dad had a heart attack. He's, he's stable, yeah. But my phone died and I haven't been able to contact anyone. I only managed to get a charger from one of the nurses a few hours ago. Not ghosted. Very cute. Hello, Sam! Hi. I'm Rod, the director. You've probably heard of me. Yeah, yeah, of course I have, Rod. Hi, Sam. I'm Jenny. Here's your Super Cho chocolate outfit. Thank you. you can use the men's barber on the left, okay. OK? Dave, can you show Sam the song? I sure can. Follow me, Sam. I'm Dave. I'll clue you in on the moves and the rap melody. All cool. right. Are you ready? Ready, Sam? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay. okay. Well, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Quiet on set? How is he? I think he'll do fine. Camera? Camera rolling and set. Okay, I just want you to step outside. And I want you to jump in like a superhero. Okay? Sure. And action! Cut! Can we get um, Sam and Mark? So just, just more in the center this time. Okay, camera? Camera rolling and set. Action! Cho Choquettes, the food for you. Here is what you should do. The Super Choquettes is the best. Put your taste buds to the test. Try it, eat it, taste it. Gives you that ooh superhero feeling. Oh yeah. Good, I just forgot the talking line. That, uh, for that super feeling, grab a Super Choc Choquette today. Otherwise it was great, it was great, great. Just once again, all in one take, okay? Great, okay, you can do it, all in one take. Camera? Camera rolling. And set. And action. Cho Choquettes, the food for you. Here is what you should do. The Super Choquettes is the best. Puts your taste buds to the test. Try it, eat it, taste it. Gives you that ooh superhero feeling. Oh yeah. For that super feeling, try Super Cho Choquette today. Cut. I think we got it. 
It's a wrap, everyone! <laughs> oh, thanks, Sam. No worries. Good job, mate. Thanks. Uh, could I grab a drink? Yeah, yeah, I'll get you one. Thank you. you saved our asses today. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, thanks, Sam. You did a great job. You're a great talent. Mm -hmm. Oh, you must come to Advertising's Woman of the Year Awards this Sunday. Mm -hmm. Maybe. It depends on my dad, though. He, um, he's still in hospital. Sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Dave, this might seem a bit left of field, but would you consider being my temporary agent? <sighs> I will be your personal manager. Cool. Thanks. I'll fill you in in the details later. Uh. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks, Anna. Maybe we, we can hang out again later. Yeah, yeah. that would be good. Look, I gotta get back to see my dad. No, of course, of course. Um, I hope he'll be okay. Me too. <laughs> um, great, great job today. Thanks, Lana. Yeah. Um. <laughs> see. <you. laughs> Adrian, I'm sorry we had to change the actor at the last minute. I'm not happy, Brad. But I assure you, the guy Jenny cast did a brilliant job. Come in. Thanks, Mia. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Mia. By the way, Mia's a front runner for advertising's Woman of the Year. Interesting. But can I help you with something, Alex? I'll read this later. Yes, I'll see you at the awards night. Here for you all the way. Hmm? Nice to see you again, Kim. Hi. Hmm? Can Lana stay with me? We usually only allow family and mothers. Lana is family. Well, in that case, then. So, you've been doing your hormone injections, mm -hmm. and today you're selecting a mm -hmm. sperm donor. You've got the choice of artificial insemination or natural conception. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? Artificial insemination has a 70% success rate and natural conception 15%. Okay. Artificial insemination costs a fair bit more though. Oh, okay, well, um, I'd like to do artificial insemination, but um, I don't think I can afford it. No, Kim, no what? Go with artificial insemination. No. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll help you out. No, no, you're not gonna sell your mother's ring. No. You've been looking after me my whole life. And that's what Dad did for Mum, okay? I love you and Mum would want me to do this for you. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You two have something really beautiful. What a lovely couple you make. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're just not gay. <laughs> I love Kim as a sister. I thought... Sorry for the misunderstanding. Um, just turn around and look at your selection of sperm donors while I do the paperwork. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's go shopping. Oh, this is like online dating but with sperm donors. Oh, look at this one. Paul007. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm happy to share that over 50 ladies have been pregnant and all have very healthy babies. What you get is a green coloured I baby with dark chocolate skin. Ooh. Um, oh no, fair skin and dark chocolate straight hair. I'm university educated and work in IT. Yeah, well that sounds good. You have a smart kid with, with a techie mind. Maybe not, maybe the kid will take after me with my creative quirks. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, right, ooh, uh... look at Mr. Sporty. Hi, I've been a pro footballer by profession and can happily share that two lovely laddies have had top boys. My best feature is my musclies. Oh, well, he made two typos. Ladies and muscles. Next. <laughs> it's a bit harsh. But this next one looks good. Mm -hmm. Mr. Red Hair and Freckles. I am well educated. I do love me drinking, me ladies. <laughs> okay, he sounds a bit like an Irish elf. 
Let's have a look. Oh, he's only five foot one, which is too short for me. Mm. Plus, he likes drinking, so that means baby might also like drinking. You know what? I like the first one. I think I'm gonna go with the first one. My instinct says it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, it's your decision. You think I should go with Mr. Sporty and Muscles? No, no, I never said that. Just go with whatever you think best. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Hi. So you've made your decision? Yes. I think I'm gonna go. Um, yes. I've, um, I've decided to be a mum with Paul 007. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, I know what to do, but I'm going to go through it. Nice, we've got each other. Lona! It's not my time. I'm going to have to call to explain. services. I'm really sorry to leave this message, but your father passed away last night. Dad, how was your trip? It was okay. That's nice. What's wrong? No, oh, it's just... You know that guy I was telling you about? Sam? He started seeing another girl. He told you that? No. I saw him at the park with her. Maybe too quick to judge. I just want what you and Mum had, you know? But with Sam, and it, it kind of just feels like nothing's going according to plan. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. Theodora. Back off, bitch! Thank you. Uh, any media inquiries about my client, Sam Davies, please contact me, Dave from Tungstone Management. It's my number one client, Sam. Your only one client, Sam. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Well, we all know Mia's going to win tonight. I mean, how are you feeling about Sam? Oh. Uh, I saw him at the park with another girl. You sure? Yeah. He was so into you. He must be running lines for an audition. They were really intimate, Kim. Anyway, I don't know. I, I just want a chance to talk with him tonight. You know? You will. Good evening, ladies. You're all looking great this evening. Mm, thank you. Thank you. You look very handsome, Brad. And capable. Thank you, Kim. You look gorgeous and capable of yourself. Well, I have to look good to accept my award. Shall we? Okay. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please take a seat. Tonight is the night. Let's take a look at our campaign for Cho Chockettes, which has sponsored this year's Advertising's Woman of the Year Awards. Cho Chockettes, the food for you. Here is what you should do. The soup Chockettes is the best. Puts your taste buds to the test. Try it, eat it, taste it. Gives you that ooh, superhero feeling. Oh yeah. For that super feeling, try Super Cho Chockette today. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The announcement of this year's winner. This year's Advertising's Woman of the Year Award goes to Dear Adrian Cho, this is to inform you that Mia Boyce cheated and used her name and others to vote for herself as Advertising's Woman of the Year. What? And close the screenshots. Yeah, it's true. She used my name. No, th that is not true. You should go. Oh. I'm sorry, folks. This might change things. In that case, our award goes to, also from Price Advertising, our runner-up, Lana Ong. <laughs> Lana, you may come down to the podium and accept your award. Hi, everyone. <laughs> wow, I, I really didn't expect to be up here tonight. Um, I just want to say that it is with great pleasure that I accept this award. But this award would not be possible without my team. Dave, <laughs> Kim, Mia, and Brad Price, our leader. We did this together, guys. <laughs> And, and I also want to say that, while well, being a creative, I've come to realise that life presents very few opportunities like this one. And my greatest regrets in life are not appreciating what I have until it's gone. So on that note, I am deeply grateful for this award and the opportunities that it will bring. Thank you for recognising my hard work and my team's hard work. Thank you so much. Alex, Alex, you were great too. Oh, thanks, Alex. Oh, I bet you had a lot to do with me winning this award tonight. Yeah, great job, Alex. And great speech, Lana. Well done. Thank you. Kim, would you like to join me at the bar for a drink? Sure. Good. Excuse us. <laughs> I better go see my client Sam. Oh, that's so cute. Congratulations, Lana. Thank you. Lana, the other day in the park, I want to explain. No, no, it's okay. You're seeing someone new. No, no, I'm, that's Colleen, my sister. My dad passed away last week and I had to contact her. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, the last few days have been tough, but um, look, I'm just gonna lay this on the line. I want to see you. Do you want to maybe do something next week? Yeah. That would be nice. <laughs> Guys, over here. Come take a photo with me. Got it. 
Life doesn't always go according to a script, but as long as we accept and enjoy the ride, because sometimes life is even better than the script. That's the script of life. Nothing you can do. 